good morning from Castaway Key, Disney's private island. We're just pulling in right now. We have to back in over there. But this is all of the different areas of the island right here. It's like an adults only beach over there. And then just all of this area for us to hang out in and play. Should be a fun day for sure. All right, so we're back at Cabana's for breakfast because we are pulling into Castaway Key. Um, the menu was basically the same as it was yesterday. Nothing really new, but we did find out that we can order omelets. Oh, there was one new thing here. This is Mickey Waffle. is a churro Mickey Waffle. And they had chocolate chip pancakes. And then the bagel was egg whites and sauteed mushrooms and spinach, I think. So we are running a little bit behind schedule. We were supposed to be on shore at 8.30 and it's now 8.45 and we are still docking. Because of this wind, it's real windy out here today. We came back up to our room and there's a Christmas tree right there. Water! Oh, a tractor, yeah. And I like that, oh yeah, there's a tractor down there, buddy. A tractor. And I like that we're on this side of the ship because it is blocking the wind for us. So we just docked. They just got the ship tied off and everything. They're still saying that they're not gonna let people go ashore for another like 30 minutes. Um, Cause I think they have some like, some technical stuff they have to do okay, with like, loading new provisions onto the ship and things like that. The good news is, is that we have to go see Mrs. I'm Claus. Dancing. You I'm are dancing. dancing. We have to see Mrs. Claus. She's going to read you a story. I'm silly. So we're going to do that while we're waiting to get off the ship anyway. The interesting thing about Disney Cruise Line currently is that there is a virtual queue down. system for going ashore at any of the any of the, the ports of call. So about an hour before your go ashore, like all ashore time, you can join the virtual queue and they give you a number and then when your number's up you go down to deck two and you or whatever deck you're getting off on and you get off and you go ashore but it's just to like prevent people from kind of like lining up down on deck two where you get off the ship so it's like it's a good system i just don't know how it's going to work when they start increasing capacity for the ships because we did hear that this one the fantasy Right now it's 1,400 people, but then in April, they're gonna raise that up to 2,700. Yeah. So, almost 3,000, so like three quarters full, still pretty full. So, huh, I'm interested to see how that all works out. But right now, let's go see Mrs. Claus. Is it time? Yeah. It, is time. Yeah, it is time. On the way down to see Mrs. Claus, I saw Stitch. Oh, and Smee's across the way over there. And Hook. Look, it's Smee and Hook, buddy. You know them. Right? Do you want to say hi? You want to go take a photo with them? Yeah? Hi, Donald and Daisy. You guys look fantastic. You guys are all dressed up for the island life. Yeah, going to go swimming, as ducks do. <laughs> Thank you guys so much. Oh, and build a sandcastle. That's perfect. That makes perfect sense. Maybe do a little like sun tanning, laying out on the beach for Daisy. Very cool. Thank you guys so much. Jackson, are you unsure of Hook and Smee because they're always causing trouble for Jake? I think he's a little unsure. Can you smile, Big Cheese? Give me a Big Cheese. It's Goofy and Pluto. They're all ready for a day of water fun. Whoa, going swimming. Maybe do some kayaking. Do the hula. Do a dance. Oh, he's got his sandals on. Just like you. Both of them would do the doggy paddle. Right? Jackson, are you riding a Vespa? Yeah, we're down in La Piazza. I don't I don't think we have a driver's license, buddy. I'm not sure if you're supposed to be driving this thing. I don't think I've ever been inside a sidecar. It's very tiny. <laughs> oh, it's like Space Mountain. Oh, this isn't bad. No? Like with my feet all the way forward. It's kind of like, I got a lot of room in Look here. at you, your driver can't even see over the handlebars. Can you, can you look at mommy? Right, say cheese. <laughs> Right. <laughs> People have started to go ashore and the uh, the good news is we had highlighted some character meetings on the pathway like princesses and stuff and I don't think they did them because they were all on the ship. So we got to see a bunch of characters right now just before going ashore. So here's the biggest issue that I'm finding with this virtual queue system and with the fact that we had a hard time docking this morning. So we entered the virtual queue as soon as we thought that like oh okay they're starting to dock and things like that and we're it's like 144 people ahead of us when we entered, or 144 groups ahead of us. And they give us an estimated time of 10.30 to 10.45 of when we should be able to go aboard, like, or ashore. And that gives us, like, it'll take us maybe like 15, 20 minutes to get over to the beach, get our, like, rental gear, anything that we did, 
Uh, and then at that point, it's time for Jackson's nap. Or it's time for lunch. And then Jackson's nap. And then Jackson will wake up by the time that it's time to go ashore. So basically, we lost out on all of that morning time because we were a little bit late docking and because of the virtual line system. I don't like that. The good news is, this is a double dip cruise, so we are coming back to Castaway Key in a couple of days. We are here at Castaway Key, then we have a day at sea, then we come back to Castaway Key, then we go home. So, I'm not too concerned about missing out on a lot of time here on the island, but it does stink because I paid for the the two-day island package and I paid for two-day bike rentals. I'm uh, like a little bit disappointed in that. So, we're just waiting. They've still got like a half an hour before we can go ashore. Actually, like 45 minutes before we can go ashore because it's 10 o'clock now. So I'm just waiting. We'll see what happens. All right, we are on Castaway Key, looking back at our ship. Jackson, Captain Jack. It's uh, you put something, on, something fuzzy on there. That's a little pet. <laughs> oh, look, everything's decorated for Christmas. We did thumbs up. Good job, bud. He's so cute. Good job. Thumbs up. Good job, buddy. <laughs> look at this. Fun little Christmas ornaments or like Christmas decorations. They look like a buoy, but they it's a Santa carved into it. They do have trams that'll take you over to the beach area, but they are spreading it out. So the capacity is much lower than normal. And they kind of pack the back with cast members too. Looking back at our ship right there. Disney Fantasy. You can see the full filigree and Dumbo on the back. Here's an interesting fact is if you take the tram, you'll just get to pass by the characters. But if you walk, you can stop and dance with them. You show them your dance, Jackson? Show them how you dance. Yeah. I think he's going to be the new member of our band, right? Yeah. <laughs> There are things that I have to learn, like what's the age for Scuttles Cove? I'm gonna find out. So Scuttles Cove is the same as the Oceaneers Club, which is ages three to 12. Minnie is out here on the beach with a fantasy in the background and she's driving in a truck whose license plate says, hey, hey. Oh, I have to go in and do some, do some shopping later because I wanna find me a Castaway Key shirt or rash guard. Oh, there's all of our shirts that we were wearing the other day. All right, Jackson, you ready to go swimming in the ocean? Yeah, so we're on Castaway Key. We're going out in the, out in the water. Woo! Oh my God, it's pretty cold. Whoa, big drop up. <laughs> Where are you going, buddy? You're in. You like it, buddy? You're in the ocean. Whee! So we decided to head a little bit further down the island to see if we can find the sprung a leak splash pad area so that Jackson can do a little bit of splashing around. Because as you saw, the, the ocean just kind of like dives in real quick. Also over here, conked out bar. So we are walking over to spring a leak, which is the like the little kids play area, the splash pad area. And I gotta say, Get ready for a lot of walking on the island. Yeah. There's a lot of walking. I don't know if Jackson's quite um, ready for this. I'm He's walking. doing it. Are I'm you walking. walking? Yeah. Okay, good. Thank you. They have a frozen themed area where you can get like Sven and Olaf sippers. That's fun. Oh, look, there's photos of Olaf visiting Castaway Key. What ship was he on? I can't tell. It's a little bit blurry back there. He's a lifeguard? So yeah. kind of off the beaten path over here, sprung a leak play area. It's kind of right next to the bike rentals. Like bike rentals are right beyond this bush here.
All right, we are all done playing in the splash pad. Now it's time for barbecue for lunch. They have a whole section of fruit over here. We get some various melons, watermelons, pineapples, grapes, maybe some apples up top. Then they've got some salads over here. It looks like we've got, and this is gonna be hard to see, grilled sweet corn salad, some red skin potato salad, a pasta salad, and coleslaw. And then over here they've got hamburgers and hot dogs. Then we've got Cajun spice rotisserie chicken. And there's a brisket sandwich back there. We got some St. Louis style pork spare ribs, some chili beans, some corn on the cob, honey and bourbon glazed salmon, and then sauerkraut back there. I know it's so hard to see through this glass. Then they have pineapple upside down cake over here. Some Texas cornbread, which has jalapenos in it. A brownie, a cookie, and you can have your choice of chips, maybe like barbecue or plain. For lunch, I got a little, little hamburger over here. Got a brownie, a cup of mayonnaise, some potato salad, some barbecue chips, and acai smart water. Stopping by flippers and floats because I'm going to grab my fins and snorkel and head out on the reef. See what we can find. All right, we're headed out out here in the snorkeling area. So one thing to know while you're snorkeling out here at Castaway Key, anywhere that you see one of these buoys, you kind of see a white one straight ahead of me there, that is an object for you to go down and look at. So as you're snorkeling around, be sure to pop up out of the water every once in a while, have a look around, see if there's any buoys around you. Also, there's some new stuff that they sunk out here, so I'm excited to see if we can find any of it. Uh, that's not good. That Dumbo ride vehicle is supposed to be attached to that base that's down there.
All right, time to do the Pelican Plunge. Couple of water slides. When I got back from snorkeling, I wanted to mention something. There was a buoy at the end that was supposed to have something in it. Yeah. There's nothing in it. Um, from what I talked to the people like that worked here, the cast members, they said that that was supposed to be Bo Boo's door from Monsters, Inc. It just wasn't there. There was a big storm the day that we left. Yeah. So maybe the storm washed it away. Maybe. There it is, Pelican Plunge. <laughs> All right. Yeah. All right, so we found out that this is the, the slower one. So this was the faster one. This one's closed and this one's open. So I'm gonna race Jen. One, two, three. All right, oh, we're flying. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Oh, where are you? I came out first. Oh, what the heck? All right, I gotta do it. All right, here we go. You ready? One, two, three. Whoa! Whoa, it's dark. Oh my god, it's so fast. Holy god. Whoa. Oh my god. <laughs> that one is real fast. Yeah. All right, so they are starting to clean up the island a little bit. Uh, board time or all aboard isn't until 4 45 so we got about an hour before then but yeah plus you got people that have just been here the whole day and then they you know they they have a little bit too much fun and they fall asleep on the beach chairs <laughs> and just this kid look at that could you imagine like that's the life right he does not know how good he has it right <laughs> It was amazing. It was I really was. We didn't do everything that we wanted to do, and I still had an amazing day. Yeah. So good news is, is that we get to come back. This island is so good. Yeah. It's such really a good is. island. I, w I really can't wait to ride bikes. I just want to ride bikes. Yeah, we're gonna ride bikes in two days because we're coming back. Jackson's gonna. He's never been on a bike. Yeah. They so have, it's gonna be very exciting. They have bikes that he can ride on it with Imagine us. Imagine having your first bike ride on Castaway Key. Right. All right. That's goodbye to Castaway Key for today. Be back in a couple of days. Hi, Jackson. Good morning. Big rock. It is stuck. All right, let's go, bud. Caught the tram coming back. Going back to the ship. Hello. Welcome to our beautiful. Oh, this is our pre-recorded. Oh, dang. It really, really is neat to see all of the Christmas decorations all around the island. Also, it is beautiful out right now. November eighth. So, like, probably 80 degrees outside right now. Phenomenal. Yeah, more Christmas decorations. Beautiful. Captain Bob Iger. Oh, look at that. Is he Bob is, Iger still the captain? He's the shrimp man. Bob Iger the shrimp man. Shrimp elbow. <laughs> shrimp. shrimp scampi. <laughs> All right, we're casting off our lines. And tomorrow we have a day at sea. And there it is. We are on our way. Leaving Castaway Key. Headed out to a day at sea. It was a lot calmer today. Oh, there's another ship out there on the horizon. Hmm. Should be a very calm night at sea because we're not going anywhere. We're just spending the day at sea tomorrow and then heading back to Castaway Key. Look at how blue the water is. It's mind blowing. All right, back on the ship, headed down to dinner. Tonight is pirate night, Sharg. Oh, we can buy art on the ship. We're down on deck two because we're eating at Enchanted Garden tonight. Ooh, this is neat. It's like going to the uh, Festival of the Arts. They're right, clapping for us. Yay! I love it. Oh, what's this song? This is exciting. It's happening. Wow. That was fun. This seems very enchanted, right? I like it a lot. Ooh, I wish we had a porthole view. That'd be nice to sit next to a porthole. Oh, I guess it would have been a buffet, but it's not any longer because of COVID. 
Oh, we are near a porthole. How great is that? Oh my gosh, look, it looks rough. Yeah, it does. So tonight is pirate night and Jen is wearing her pirate ears. Oh yeah, so this is a pair of ears that one of you actually sent to me and this is the perfect occasion to wear them. Right? I'm a pirate, Arr. Oh yeah, <laughs> I'm a pirate, duh. <laughs> and then Buddy wouldn't wear his hat, no. but he asked me to wear it. <laughs> and then he took it away and started coloring on it. Sorry, Daddy. Yeah, it's okay. Look at the ocean out there. So for, for the bread service, they brought us just like wheat rolls, and then they call these Johnny Cakes, it's just cornbread, and they give us a mango dip. I'm interested to try that mango dip, because pirates love mangoes. As I was looking around, I noticed that the pirates celebrate Christmas. Tonight, Jackson is having, they're calling this crusty pizza. <laughs> But they just said it's just regular cheese pizza. Well, we asked our server, we were like, what What makes it crusty? And she's like, it's just a normal pizza. <laughs> <laughs> it looks so, delicious, buddy. He's just eating french fries right now to start with. But he's going to go into the pizza pretty soon. For appetizers, we've got, I got the gem salad. It looks good. It's kind of like a wedge salad. Our friend got the crab cake. And then Jen got the beet carpaccio. Ooh. Oh, yeah, thank you. One more? Uh, sure. Is that a cocktail sauce? Mm -hmm. Oh. Thank you so much. So this was the beetroot carpaccio with red and yellow beets, and it just sounded interesting. And then I got the, um, this was what they're calling like the shrimp cocktail, but it's shrimp with like a lime flavoring. Okay. So, very excited to try it. I don't know how that's going to go with the cocktail sauce, but it looks delicious. So we got Jackson's pizza. What are you like eating right now, buddy? Shrimp. shrimp. Okay, let's see. Let's show them how good you eat your shrimp. So mommy got shrimp. It's actually, it's really good. Hold it. So it's very like cilantro flavored. It tastes nice. Oh, that's good to know that he's okay eating cilantro. Yeah. Is that good, buddy? Could you like some more shrimp? Okay. Oh, there's a pirate that just came in. A couple of them. Yeah, look, there they go. Love that, Jackson? Oh, there she is. Pirates. We were thinking we were going to let Jackson stay up for the fireworks tonight, but just looking at him, he's not going to make it. They brought some more shrimp over for us, and it's all cut up and everything ready for the show. You're going to do it, buddy. You can do it now because it's all cut up. Take care of all the Yum. Did you say thank you? All you need to be doing is cooking your tables. <laughs> thank you so much. Look at that, he's doing the dance. Ooh, Jen's going all out with that shrimp and scallops. This was called like the captain's treasure, I think. Oh, yeah. The treasure of the sea, maybe. Oh, wait, here's our Oh, that looks good. Oh, yeah, I got the steak tonight. That does look good. Does it have a, a what is this called? A pudding? A Yorkshire pudding? That's us. That's not my treasure map. Do you have my treasure map? Is it that one? Let's see. No, this has some yellow marks on it. There's no X. Yeah, this is our server. She's the best. Oh, and then our friend got the veal. Oh, is she cutting up the shrimp for Jackson right here at the table? Oh no, she's she's taking the, the tails off and the shells off. Wow, look at that. Oh, we're supposed to whip our, our whip our things back and forth. Just the white one. Oh no, yeah, you wanna do the, the red one. You do the white one, it's your your Surrendering. Oh no, I'm not surrendering. Hey and up she rises way, hey and up she rises early in the morning. Oh, instead of saying drunken sailor, they say lazy pirate. Uh, you did it. So our server, Nelia, uh, remembered that Jackson loved raspberries yesterday. If you remember our dinner from yesterday, she brought him some. And then tonight she brought him some more. Did you say thank you? You did. It was very special because she hid it under the the little pirate cap over here, and she said, "Look, I have a buried treasure." 
Yay! A happy birthday! Yay! So because it was pirate night, it wasn't as like pronounced, but these flowers that are made up of like the flowers that the lights are transformed. They were closed at the beginning of the night and now they're open. If you were wondering how much the ship is moving right now, and today's not a bad day, but you can see all this art just moving around on the wall. Came back to the room and there is a monkey hanging from the ceiling. I've never had a hanging one before. Yeah. Yeah, this is cool. And Our we got gold some golden doubloons. <laughs> oh my god. Because you know what they say, Jackson. Dead men tell no tale. <laughs> Alright, so Jen is putting Jackson to sleep right now. I am headed up to the atrium to see if there are any characters out because I think there are characters and they should be the pirate versions of regular characters. Then I'll head up to deck 11, 12, somewhere to watch the fireworks. This is the very first time that they're doing very maritime fireworks at sea. So it's a very momentous occasion. I'm excited to be here for it. We're going to see them tonight. So it looks like we've got Chip and Dale dressed as pirates down there. And Goofy dressed as a pirate right here. So the characters all move about. So right now Goofy is making his way this direction. Hey Goofy, how's it going? I turned around a corner and you surprised me. Oh no, it's nap, it's bedtime. So he's going to sleep. I know. I have a, I have a Jackson, yeah. I thought I could keep him up for the fireworks, but he, he didn't make it. So next time. Yeah, there's Chip and Dale dressed as pirates. There's Chip. And there's Dale. And there's Donald and Daisy's outfits. <laughs> for Pirate Night. Hey Daisy, how's it going? Oh, you she doing said good? She's doing great. Yeah. Oh yeah, you guys are looking great today for Pirate Night. How's oh. your Pirate Night going? So far so good. Okay, to hear, what have you been up to? It's eating a lot of piratey themed food. Oh yeah, the pirate food is really good, right yeah. Daisy? Oh, what about goodness. you guys? What have you guys been up to? Oh, sightseeing, looking oh, out. Using your binoculars. Oh, finding treasure. Oh, finding treasure. Yeah, oh. We found some really good treasure today, right? You Daisy? guys found treasure? We did. Lots of it. Do you see that bracelet? Oh. Oh yeah. Whoa. Super snazzy. Oh, right look there. at that. <laughs> Holy cow. That's fantastic. Well, thank you guys so much. And I hope you find more treasure tonight. Oh, some real pirates showed up. Hook and Smee. Pushing their way through. Donald and Daisy are like, get out of here, you pirates. And then there's Pirate Stitch right there too. Thank you. He has he has like an eye patch on. Oh, there he is. Happy Pirate Day, Stitch. Oh, thank you. Oh, sword fighting. Oh my. <laughs> Mickey and Minnie are out in their pirate costumes. All right, so we've got our spot for the very maritime fireworks. Basically, every family has to stand on one of these dots, and it should be out over the ocean over here. So we should have a pretty good spot. I grabbed a few swirling pop whiz surprises, and the captain says it's almost time to set them off. So keep the merriment going while I prepare my special holiday gift for all of you. Santa's gonna set off the fireworks. He said he had some whirly pops from his sleigh. Oh. Huh. That's what we're calling fireworks now. Why not? They're not fireworks, they're whirly pops. So the fireworks should be starting very soon. Oh ho ho ho! And away we go! Though we don't have snow, we've got a North Pole show! A firework surprise to fill the night skies. So look up, 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 where the reindeer flies, where Santa's magic showers the sky.
Oh, that was fun. So much silver and gold. It was a good time. So we came down to level three just to be in the atrium here because we know that there are character greetings coming soon-ish. We, we don't know who it's going to be. So Maybe like to be 30 ready minutes for from it. now. Yeah. yeah. So uh, I wanted to point out that the over here at Bon Voyage, they have a warmed up mulled wine for Christmas. Secretly spiced red wine. Ooh, it's Mickey's secret recipe. Oh yeah, Mickey loves he'll, some red wine. He'll never tell you his secret. So what did you think of the very first Very Merry Time Fireworks? So I didn't realize that this was like the world premiere of yeah. the Very Merry Time Fireworks. Honestly, they were really nice. I liked the music choice. Um, I thought that it was very, it felt very magical. Yeah. Everybody was seemed to be very like excited about it. Um, I loved it. I thought it was really good. And I liked the little finale. It was nice. Yeah, and I always like the fireworks on the cruise because I feel like they're good for kids mm -hmm. because they're they're short. They're shorter firework shows. I wish and that like, Jackson had. He, there's right? no way that he would have stayed awake for that. He was no, so he fell so, asleep so fast. Castaway Key really took it out of him. I think he was just very. Um, he had a very busy day. That splash pad. Yeah. <laughs> that was where it was at. So. Maybe, hopefully he'll get to see fireworks at some point, but I think he would have liked that. And, it, and like you said, it would have been a good way to test the waters to make yeah. sure that they actually like the fireworks. Yeah, the booms are not as loud as they would be in Magic Kingdom. They're mm -hmm. smaller bursts. They they go to the music still, mm -hmm. and it's just like a short show. Yeah. So, I don't know. I liked it a lot. I would watch that again. Yeah. I, I was, might at 10. <laughs> I was just excited to be here, yeah. So the thing that they don't tell you in the, uh, in the digital app is that the fireworks are showed twice. One for the early seating of dinner and one for the late seating of dinner. Mm -hmm. So everybody gets a chance to watch the fireworks. Right. We happen to be the early seating, so we got to watch the very first showing of Ever. the fireworks. Ever. Yeah. yeah. It, was, it was definitely very exciting to see. It was cool. Yeah, I liked so it a lot. now we're waiting in the atrium for a uh, meet and greet. Some piratey character should be coming out soon. While we're standing in the atrium, I wanted to point out that every ship has a different icon in the atrium as well as a different icon on the back of the ship. So this one has Dumbo on the back with Timothy Mouse and Minnie here in the atrium. Here comes Minnie and Mickey. I like your outfits. He almost looks like Colonial Mickey, doesn't he? You guys having a good pirate night so far? You guys look fantastic. I like that all the characters are asking about Jackson. They all remember Jackson? him, yeah. The other thing I didn't get to show because we weren't filming this, but Mickey was very excited that he was all over Tim's shirt. Yeah. And then I said, wait a minute, Minnie's on the shirt too. Here she is, right here. She's a she's a, a hula dancer. Oh. She loved that. There it is. Yeah. Icons, fashion icons. They truly are. Chip and Dale, they're leaving. Oh, we missed them. Bye, Chip and Dale. See you guys later. They're going to shop at... Bulgari. Oh, Look, oh yeah. yeah. This is where See? you want to go. Bulgari. Yeah. Right? You have the money? <laughs> they said I have the so money. If they, oh, if you, they. If you have money, I would like something. Oh, seriously. <laughs> <Thank you. laughs> you guys just need to ask if they take, uh, Anderson? take acorns. Oh, Do they right. take acorns? acorns and corn? If we trade them some acorns <laughs> for right. some Yeah, yeah I think that, I think we should yeah. try it. I think we should try it. I think we should try it too. <laughs> oh wait, you guys are pirates. They are pirates. You guys have oh, like treasure yeah. that you found. So you must, you must. Maybe. <laughs> Maybe. Oh my goodness. It was nice to meet you. Yeah, have a good night. I hope you find your jewelry and anything yes. else you're looking yes. for. You were doing like oh, poses. Yes. One more time, ready? One, two, three. Oh, I love it. Perfect. <laughs> what a fun and eventful day. We got to go to Castaway Key. We got to hang out. We got to go snorkeling. We to, which is a good time all around. We ate so much food. Right? Today was a day full of eating and fun. And we saw a lot of characters today. You know Every what night, I like? fireworks. The thing that I think is the most fun, though, is that the characters, because, you know, we're, we're on the ship, you're seeing the same characters, but they remember you. Yeah. And you have really personalized interactions with them. Oh, yeah. It, it's something that probably wouldn't necessarily happen at the parks. Oh, yeah. And so I think that this has just been really special because of that. It has been. 
Mm -hmm. But all in all, a fantastic day. Yeah. We have day C tomorrow. I am. Should so, be I can't fun. Wait. Yeah. We have so much stuff planned. Right. So all in all, fantastic day. With that being said, we are off. We'll see you all tomorrow. Now, now it's time, time to pay the price. price.